Good morning from Eskishi here. We uh, have gotten up, worked out, gone to breakfast, and we are about to tour the beautiful city of Eskishi here. Can't really see it. So let's get going today. So where we are staying, our hotel is only a 10 minute walk from this area but like a four minute drive. It's, but it's down like a really big hill. So we opted to drive and we're parked at an auto park right here, which is super close to the Odun Pizarra. So that is where we're gonna head first uh, and see this area. You know what this stands for? Odun Pazada Modern Museum. Cute as little kid I know. <laughs> so in this Odun Pazada area are the old historical homes. They're kind of in this neighborhood as you walk around. We went to the Wax Museum, which you can't take video in, but we may have snuck just a little bit. Of course, we took lots of pictures. Most of the stuff in the Wax Museum were famous Turkish people. Some people we kind of knew, some people didn't, of course, because we just don't have the history and knowledge here. Sophia, we're about to go see some people that they have recreated like this into Wax people. They look real, but they're not gonna be real, okay? are a bunch of famous Turkish people that I'm not familiar with. But, uh, Marilyn Monroe made it in here. We knew her. <laughs> Do you like it? Your teachers are going to love it, Sophia. <laughs> And then right beside the Wax Museum is the Museum of Modern Art. And so that is where we're headed next. Sophia, she's got a cat right here. Yeah, choked a shake away. It probably would take you about 20 to 30 minutes to go through. We did the first floor and the top floor with our daughter because the second floor, at least for right now, the exhibit was, um, I think, not as kid-friendly for me, <laughs> at least. I only know of two contemporary art museums here in Turkey and one's in Istanbul and then one's here. Um, but I think it's a really cool thing to have it in the city here in Eskishi here. Now we are moving on into more of the Odun Pazara area and checking out a few more of the houses around here. Good morning, huh? Yeah. Twirl. Yeah, so they've done all the glass and they've made it into different colors and then they designed it with, made different designs. We are in the Contemporary Glass Museum, or the Jam Musée. It is actually the Turkey's first contemporary glass art museum. Um, it is actually three Ottoman-style homes that have been joined together, and then they have turned the rooms into exhibits with both local and foreign artists. A quick visit, maybe 10 minutes, and if you have kids, uh, I think it's got some really cool, beautiful artwork that you can experience with them. Bigger than my they do. It's not the same. What's the one on the end? No, this one's happy. Uh, 
and this one's surprise, this one's that, this one's me. Yeah, that one does look angry, doesn't it? That was good observation skill. So this area of Odun Pizarra is actually on the World Heritage List. So this area has is where Eski Shahir actually started. And so these houses have been protected to continue to have the Seljuk, Ottoman, and Turkish Republic kind of old house vibe. As you walk through here, you're going to see that reflected in all of these small buildings that are brightly colored throughout this area. They're called Ari Evleri, but some people call them the mini mansions. This is definitely where you're going to want to start your tour in Eskishi here and then move outward from there. Do you know what that says? It says Eski Shahir, which means old city. So an interesting fact about Eski Shahir is that the mayor of the town is actually an artist himself. He has created over a hundred statues and has placed them throughout the city. A good example is this one. He's working on it. He's working? Is it a real man? Uh, it's not. It's a statue. No, he's not talking. <laughs> I love that the mayor himself is an artist and that he has a love for art and you can definitely tell that the city itself has um, stemmed from that love of art because of all of the contemporary art museums and the statues that you find places here. Chiburak is something you're going to want to try when you come to Eski Shahir. So Chi meaning Wa, I think it dates back to the Tartar mm -hmm. times. So it said like maybe they had put, put raw meat into the pastry, meaning Borak. They fried it and so that's how the meat got cooked in it. These are a fried pastry with meat or I think you can get it without and we are going to test it out today. That's some mm. nice. Afia Tolson, savory, yummy, it's hot, beware. Did you get some with the meat inside of it? Mm. Not yet? Do you like your chi bread? Yes. So we have finished our southern half or the main area of Odun Pazar and now we're going to go up a little ways northwest towards the river and see a little bit more of the modern side. And we have a special treat for you. I'm going to show it to you in a little bit. Here's a bit more of what Eski Shear actually looks like. I still have beautiful city with trees and well-developed areas and we've been really impressed so far. Did you know that you can get a gondola ride somewhere other than Venice, Italy? Of course, I mean Venice, Italy is known for its gondola rides, but you can also find a gondola ride in the middle of Turkey and that place is in Eskishi here. What do you think? It look pretty cool? Do you think there's fish in the water? <gasps>
no. Seems like a bad idea, right? We wanted to wrap up our second day in Eskishi here, or I guess our first full day here. We went and we enjoyed a 10 minute little gondola ride, which may or may have had a little bit of help with the motor <laughs> to just get it moving. But we enjoyed a ride, didn't we, Sophia? Was it fun? Yes. Yeah. And after the boat ride, we decided to uh, come back to the hotel, rest a little bit. Sophia wanted to go swimming. And then we popped back out again to go have dinner um, and try the Balaban uh, kebab, which is a signature Eski Shigir dish. Um, and we did a few other things. Good, Sophia. One of the signature dishes in Eskishi here is the Balibang kebab, which is pieces of kofte or meatballs on top of a rough pide with tomato sauce, butter, and yogurt. It is similar to the dish called Iskander, uh, which you find a lot in Istanbul, but Balibang in Qatar means a lot. And so this portion that comes out is very generous. So where you might have one and a half portion of Iskander, you definitely may want to stick with one portion of Balibang until you decide you're full or not, and then you can order more. So it's definitely something you should try when you come to Eskishi here. Let's try it together. It's really soft. The cup is really soft and moist, as well as the bread is. There's tons of butter and sauce around it. I tried one bite. You did? Let's try some of the cup What do you think, Jason? It's good. Yeah. Do you like it more or less than Iskander? Less. But it's still yummy. Mm -hmm. Sophia, what did Daddy get you? Ice cream. I did. Oh, there he is. Remember it being this thick. Here, one of the other things that a species is known for is their bosa, which is a fermented millet. So it's like a grain, fermented grain drink. And it's best known for being sold in the winter time. It's a very nutritious, uh, full kind of drink that's good for you in the winter time. Yeah, it's good. Get the seal of approval. This is a drink that goes back to the Ottoman time. It's got a little bit of a chain to it. It reminds me of applesauce. Isn't that crazy? It's pretty good. Sometimes you'll hear bosa callers on the streets. Like we've heard one in Izmir, and so a guy walks around selling it and he calls out bosa. bosa. Um, so that's one of the fun stories behind this drink. You want to try it? I'm going to want to try the helvasa, but it's a special helva called Met Helvasa. And it's made, at least from when I was reading, it talks about being made from the lover's bone. <laughs> So I don't, I'm not exactly sure, but it's similar to pishmane if you've ever tried that here in Turkey, which is like a cotton candy. So let me show you what it looks like. Basically, it is pulled apart and they actually look like bones. 
So there's a darker one and a lighter one. Um, and yeah, as you can see here, it just kind of pulls apart. Let's try it. I tried it. <laughs> what did you think? Good. 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 Thumbs up. It falls apart. Um, and it's a very, very sweet treat. So I don't think you would want much of it. We're going to actually take this and share it with friends. But definitely check out the Met Health set whenever you come but to Eskishi here, down. Turkey. It's huh? full now. <clears throat> it did, didn't it? So it was a full day in Eskishi here. We've got another day or a half day, I should say. So I will see you then. We are on the last day of our weekend getaway um, and we are still in Eskishi here at our <laughs> hotel. We're packing up. A few things about the hotel that we're staying at. It is beautiful. It has a beautiful view. It has a gorgeous atmosphere. Um, they really looked into all the details. They did a great job of making it cozy. They also have a kids area with a with a worker that will actually watch your child so that if you needed to book a spa date with you and your husband or if you went out to eat at the restaurant that's here in the hotel, then you could actually leave your kid at the mini go club and enjoy a dinner out or enjoy the spa, that kind of thing. And yeah, it is a quiet hotel. And I can't say that about all hotels in Turkey. It is a beautiful hotel with beautiful grounds. And we would definitely suggest coming and staying here if you have the budget for it, because it is on the higher end of our budget when we go out traveling. So let's get started with our day. Sophia wants to show you what she worked on. Wow. So we picked this up from the kids area last night because we weren't able to go, were we? No, but we got one of the coloring sheets and then you've colored it all in. Do you yeah. want to say anything about it? Nobody was there. Nobody was there. We were out all day, huh? Maybe we can another time we can come and you can go to the kids area. But Not bad coloring for a new four-year-old. <laughs> South Silva Park is considered to be one of the most beautiful parks in Turkey, and I do not disagree with that. It is gorgeous, and it is huge. Um, it's a little bit confusing when you first come in as to where to park and where to go, but basically it is just one major park that is free to get into. You do pay for parking, and then there are lots of different areas that you can go and visit, and those have a fee. So we have gone to the Masal Gemisi, or the fairy tale pirate ship, we have um, seen the lake that's right here. Yo ho ho! Yo ho ho! We've also gone to probably the most popular exhibit, which is the Disney like fairy tale castle. What do you think of it? Good. Are we going to know what's inside? Absolutely. There are 26 towers, eight of which that are known throughout Turkey, and then added on with some other towers. And this, you can actually go into the castle. You can see a robotic show, which is good for like younger kids. They have a actual live show that's better for the older kids. It is all in Turkish, so it's not like the most interesting thing for those who are English speakers, except if you enjoy seeing how another culture celebrates fairy tales and create an environment of imagination and fun for kids here in Turkey.
we are coming to Eskishi here at the first weekend of November and this day is absolutely incredible. The weather is perfect and we could not have picked a better day to come spend the morning at this park. So this finishes up our time in Eskishi here. We are going to head back to Izmir. It is a long five hour drive and of course with stops which we always have. It might take a little bit longer. As always I love to hear from you so I want to know have you been to Eskishi here? Do you live here? Do you now want to come? Um, what did we miss? As always leave a comment below and I love to respond to you and hear what you have to say. I will have a blog post about this hopefully. As always, have a great week and I will see you next time. Bye!